we're back with another game capsule this time we're playing nhl 14. oh baby now i know that we get really hyped about nhl 2002 we also get pretty hyped up about nhl 2004 but for a lot of people like this is the game that they get hyped about because this is like the first nhl they really remember liking everything about it seemed like they'd really figured out all aspects of it and then uh... <laughs> as i said in that essay video and then nhl 15 happened One of the things that you can actually, I feel like, say about this part of the franchise is that, like, they were innovative. They were bringing out new stuff. They were ahead of the curve. And the games are still good now, but I felt like a lot of the progress that you saw in sports games, like, a lot of it was just happening in NHL games. This was the absolute pinnacle of that. So, without further ado, we'll toss it to our other friend, who's going to do a little quick summary. You. Yes. Much in the same way that NHL 2002 is lauded as one of the marquee entries in EA Sports' hockey series, NHL 14 is often spoken of as the game that got fans into the sport. And when you look at its list of features, it's easy to see why. By the time you reach the end of a console generation, game developers have usually maxed out the technical aspects of what they can get out of a system. What does that mean for games? Well, in the case of sports games, it usually means that while feature lists continue to grow in size, game engines, graphics, and animations largely remain the same. Usually. Let's flash back to September 2013. With the North American launch of both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One just two months away, NHL 14 would serve as the final entry in the series where EA Sports' main focus would be on the seventh console generation version of the game. In their final hoorah on the seventh gen, EA decided that instead of just simply slapping in a few small additions, that they'd make not one, but two changes to their game engine, introduce a new deking system, as well as a brand new game mode. The first major change came in the way of a new collision system taken from EA Sports' FIFA series. Rather than simply relying on pre-canned animations, the collision system would take into account a player's speed, size, and even the angle in which contact was made for hits. Continuing on the mission to up the overall physicality of the game, EA borrowed the game engine from another in-house title, this time borrowing from the Fight Night series in a move that allowed players to get a little more tactical with their on-ice brawls. Weave. While those two changes gave big ol' bruisers a larger hammer to swing with, the one-touch deking system made puck handling maestros even more lethal than ever. In the game mode department, EA built upon NHL's Be a Pro mode. In the short lived, live the life mode, players were given the chance to make both on-ice and off-ice decisions for their creative player. If you wanted to give boring, run-of-the-mill responses to reporters during a post-game interview, you could. If you wanted to spice things up by being a total loose cannon who throws his teammates under the bus at any given moment, you could. So add in an improved Hockey Ultimate Team mode, the continuation of the much-beloved GM Connected mode, as well as the NHL 94 Anniversary mode, and you get a game that's jam-packed with new and improved features. The game received strong Metacritic scores on both platforms and has gone down as a fan favorite in the series, for a good reason. You know, perhaps we really should have appreciate NHL 14 even more during its time. You know, especially after experiencing what came after. And back to these two schmucks. Thank you, Daniel. All right, so they got a couple new things that we're going to check out. Got a new fighting engine. We know you like uh, watching us test the fighting engine out in game. <laughs> <laughs> That's all this is from now on. Let's see if it lives up to our nostalgia trip and our memory. Already quite a bit of nostalgia in this Xbox 360 menu. You scroll to the right, you're on the social tab. You got our little avatars. My um, guy looks like a loser. Are those capris? <laughs> oh my God, I'm wearing a Jays jersey and a Phillies hat. Like give your head a shake, buddy. <laughs> my guy is actually, I remember doing this styled after Henrik Zetterberg, which makes no sense because all it is is that I slicked back his hair, gave him a thick beard, and then I put him in a white suit because <laughs> Henrik Zetterberg had those white SE16s. So I was like, ah, he probably likes like limited edition suits too. <laughs> it does not look like Henrik Zetterberg. <laughs> Your guy looks like the devil's apprentice. The devil is a DJ. Anyways, okay. let's start playing this game. Now we're ready to play. Wow. Did yours I... pop up that what you were playing? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Corwin has started playing. That's amazing. Press start. What's new in NHL 14? You can spin to both your forehand and your backhand. Players also have the ability to shoot and pass directly out of a spin. Whoa, okay, wait, is this the first one with the LT spin thing? He's saying it like it is. That's a pretty huge thing in today's game. L2 dangles, like the glitch goals I covered in my last video, are both way too good right now. That gets abused like crazy. And if this is where it started, <laughs> maybe we gotta go back and stop it. This is turned into a back to the future mission. Hello, anybody home? Hey, think but fly. Uh, we'll avoid the mom stuff. But, uh... <laughs> 
You're my mu. Yeah, mu is a little. Uh... But you're, uh, you're so, uh, you're so thin. Ah. Uh... Let's get back to the game. <laughs> the all-new Enforcer engine offers the most authentic and exhilarating hockey fighting experience ever. We have wow, is that head of player safety, George Peros, just ringing that guy's <laughs> ear? <laughs> it's better to be dead than sorry. Now you're ready to hit the ice in NHL 14. Keep your head up out there. Whoa, did you see that? The guy T-dragged NHL 14. I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. Whoa, I'm connecting to the EA servers. Does that mean the servers are still up? It's time for our favorite part of Game Capsule. Guess who is the highest rated player in the game? Who's your guess? It's gotta be Crosby, right? I mean, we're yeah. coming off a, a season where St. Louis won the Art Ross, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because that was a lockout year. Yeah, it's gotta be Crosby. I agree, I think it's Crosby. It's boring. I probably should guess someone else. But it's probably Crosby. Not trying to be wrong. Whoa! Yo! Okay. Charles is in 94! I'm already starting to regret my decision to choose Crosby. That seems What's they don't Crosby? go much higher than that. Lucic 87. Shout out him, man. Good for you. Whoa, Sagan on the Bruins. Wow. <laughs> also, like Bergeron was their cover athlete the next year. They have him rated 89. He looks so young in that photo. Yeah, what the hell? That is not from 2013. That looks like it belongs in a barber shop. That's like the number 16 haircut. All I need is my clip, clip, a fresh pair of matches and some super sharp hey. So this is the team you're expecting to have a lot of high ratings. And oh my god. That is one, a two, lot three, of four, high five, ratings. six players, 88 or above. The Blackhawks are probably the most fun team to play with in this game. Whoa! Look at that haircut. Looks like the Wendy's girl. <laughs> Hey man, okay, I had that hair. That's basically a picture of me. Whoa. Your favorite team? Ooh, 95. I, mean, I don't know why none of us guessed Datsuk either. He's disgusting. I, I miss Datsuk. Honestly, I'll be happy if I'm wrong and he's the best player. This is your favite team, so this makes sense. <laughs> these these yeah, Oilers, full of uh, hope. <laughs> what, what could have been? It's so sad. What a smile. You know what? You got to give that to him. Also, Jeff Petrie should also be added to the list of people wanting a new picture. Patrick Marlowe, chilling with an 87. Shout out Marlo Bros channel. Okay. Ilya. Martin Brodor is the cover athlete, and he's not even the highest rated goalie on oh his team. Oh my. He is G backup. He is G backup. Drum roll. Whoa. He's at 95. Whoa, they're tied. They're yeah, tied. tied, okay. I mean, I blame you in this because I picked one and then you had the opportunity to pick the other and you just chose the same as me. <laughs> What's Ovi rated? 94. Not bad. Why is his potential four and a half stars? You can just put that as five. <laughs> Does anyone have a better potential than, than Alexander Ovechkin? Yeah. Potential to what? Potential to break Wayne Gretzky's goal record. Four exactly. and a half stars. I feel like that's one person kind of missing. I actually don't know, but is Connor McDavid in the game? Like, is he on Erie? or something he should be i guess Let, let's see oh my god connor mcdavid 57 overall <laughs> look at that picture now it's time for our second favorite part guessing who the top rated team is oh they have the star system oh wow well, that's no that's no fun so like the blackhawks and the canadians are just like the same can you spot the difference? I can! I'm gonna be the Hurricanes this time. I'll be the Penguins. Yeah, every <laughs> single time I've picked a squad, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be Carolina. And then he's just like, I'm gonna be the best team in the game. I'm gonna be the Capitals. <laughs> okay, Ovi. Ha! I just figured that'd be an automatic goal from there. Hey, I needed someone to tee me up. I press Y. Yes! All right, fight night controls. Paul Martin is terrible. Are you ready? Fight night. Oh my God. Wait, where's the fight night controls? Fight night. Where's my haymaker? Wee, wee. Yeah, what is, the, wee. it's just the regular fighting. At the time it wasn't. Fight night. It's but just the, because you're using the stick, but like, where's like my haymaker? Fight night. They also didn't used to have like the dodging and, and the pushing and the pulling and stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I was really excited about this. And then I just realized. <laughs> That you got absolutely fed. Wow, that was underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like, that's what it is. Oh, later, buddy. Wow, this guy's mastered the LT. This guy's ready for NHL 20. Whoa, look how ineffective the stick checks are. God love him. Nice, Chris Kunitz, stone hands. Chris Kunitz, Ferris State legend. Oh. <laughs> I kind of miss that jumping, Sally. Like, you know, originated by Stevie Y. <laughs> Chris Kunitz just 
Anytime I try to do any kind of one of these one touch things with him, loses the puck immediately. God level. God level. God level. God level. Nope. <laughs> Turns into a drop pass for Crosby. Come on, man. He got his homie killed. It's over. You lose. There's no way Hockey Ultimate Team is an option. Actually, it's letting me start one. I'm searching for an opponent. What if I look for a game at the same time? Whoa, do it. I think I found you because it immediately just started going. <laughs> yeah. Guys, it still works. And there's two people online playing. <laughs> We are the only two people. I am baffled right now. We can play hut. Oh, you better watch out. We got a real barn burner here. Here's the Chris right. Kunitz Tets. Big moves. God level. Not even close. We're done. I'm not playing with this team. What the hell? When you pause the game, it's just an ad. <laughs> It's just a car. An ab absolutely <laughs> subtle product placement. <laughs> I think the people who designed this menu are the same people who designed the Barclays Center. Can someone tell me who scored? <laughs> car. They should have that when you exit the game. Someone just be like, Honda! Anyway, let's get serious. You want to buy this car one? Yay or nay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Honestly, sometimes you just got to kick back. You just got to live the life. Let's do this. New pro. Center. Sniper. Sound a little bit like an, another uh, be a pro legend I know. That's a hideous name. Dylan Bartley. I got this friend named Dylan Bartley. That's the worst name I ever heard. Sorry to Dylan Bartley who watches this. <laughs> By the way, I feel like the Moncton Wildcats don't get enough heat for this. That is a crap logo. <laughs> <laughs> that is awful. Meow. That's how that thing meows. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should make like a Hills style intro song for this. Bring it the blank page before you open up the dirty window. Let the sun illuminate the words that you can Feel the rain on your skin. And my NHL journey is unwritten. <laughs> Enough of the silly talk. It's time to get serious. We want to be serious good pros here. We got to pull up. I accidentally skipped over one of the instructions. <laughs> I'm blowing it. All right. The management likability defines your relationship with your GM and coach. Hopefully they don't care that I skipped their instructions before this. Having a high management likability meter makes it harder for you to be demoted to the minors. Having high family likability will have a positive effect on your attributes. Having low family likability will have a negative effect on your attributes. I feel like life could use this. You know, a nice family meter just to see how you're doing. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Miss yeah. a couple birthdays, lose a couple points. Suddenly your wrist shot's way worse. I feel like this actually is pretty accurate to hockey where they're just like, yeah, you can't really play hockey, but uh, your family meter and uh, like management like ability meter is really high. So we're gonna give you another contract for four years. There are three types of interviews. Let's define who our man is. He's gonna be a jerk. <laughs> Dylan Bartley, starting up top. Let's go Wildcats. Ow. Bartley's just living the life. Oh! oh Snipe! Oh, wow. Dylan Bartley on is a legend. One shot, one goal. Is this guy coming for JBJ? Guns up, let's do this. Oh! Ha, come on. I have one shot on net and it led to a goal and I have one hit and it led to the guy's helmet flying off. Honestly, I'm getting, <laughs> off. I'm getting off the ice. My shift's over. In fact, get me into the NHL. <laughs> Honestly, you're a danger to these players. It's our first post-game interview. Taylor Lyre just lit you guys up for a hat trick. Who dropped the ball? Whoa, come on. That's a loaded question. We all know who dropped the ball, the goalie. Taylor Lyre had a very strong, are we here to talk about Taylor? Or Dylan Bartley, okay? Sorry, you know who you're talking to, right? You got D-Bart standing right in front of you. Also, did they shout out their own game? It was like he was playing EA Sports NHL 14 <laughs> on the rookie mode. <laughs> That's exactly how Mark Masters sounds. Nice. All right. No. So we're going to skip all the way to the draft because as we agreed, one shot, one goal, one helmet knocked off, 
first overall pick. For fans who haven't seen you play before, describe your qualities in one word. Committed, loyal. I got two words. I'm the best. Oh wait, <laughs> that's more than two words. Is answer A just like you're an idiot? And confident. I'd say go All right, ahead. let's go for that. Yeah, that's let's say. Honestly, we're just dumb confident. If you could have any pet, what would it be? Oh, come on. Interior crocodile alligator. If you weren't playing hockey, what would you be doing as a career? I would be a physiotherapist because I like to help others. That's a really weird <laughs> occupation to use as an example of like someone who helps others. Hey, why didn't you just say doctor? The real answer is physiotherapist because I wanted to go to Laurier and take kinesiology with my friends. <laughs> Shout out, little Canada University joke. Well, we're going B again, I guess. We like confidence and a lot of it, and we think you are going to be a key to the success of this franchise for here it comes. What do you think? I'm not shocked by this. I am that great of a player. We saw that and there goal. There it is. I feel like we just nailed that interview. We're getting drafted by the Canucks, if I had to. The Canucks guess. are taking us. Butterfly Bentley. No! 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 Bentley! Bentley! And here it is, the draft. Are we number one? We are sliding. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! You know, I feel like I've earned this from all the times that I haven't put any Canucks stuff. <laughs> Wait, you don't, you don't like the Canucks? They're okay. I feel very Don Draper about them. I feel bad for you. I don't think about you at all. Canucks fans hate Toronto so much, and it's just like, we never play you. Already on the Utica comments, how satisfying is this moment? Quite honestly, this is probably the greatest moment of my life. I'm quite disappointed because I was drafted by this franchise. <laughs> We're hammering that Y button. It's... Ding, they'll trade you. Oh, fans, management, teammates, everyone hates us. Our family's pretty chill with us so far. <laughs> They're like, you're just speaking your mind, just how we raised you. Oh no, I'm already in the GM's office. <laughs> your actions are not what this organization expects from its players. Have your bags ready and packed. We will be trained. <laughs> they just drafted no. him. I gotta say, based on your interview with them, that's terrible drafting on the Canucks part. Seriously, because... that's a wasted pick. Yeah, you had to know my guy was a jerk. I'm finna jail you. I think that's enough living the life. Finally, it's time to address the elephant in the room. The game mode that we have ignored up until now. The one that you probably clicked on this video to hear us talk about. NHL 94 anniversary mode. <laughs> now let's explore. Oh, sorry, you, no, you don't care about that. Honestly, just like, I'm pretty sure you can go to like addictinggames.com and play NHL 94. The one we're talking about, you know it, you love it, you miss it. It's GM Connected, we all miss it. I mean, I really love the idea of it and everything. I will say that like, I never even got close to finishing a season. No, <laughs> like, who, I, I can't even get friends to be committed to squad up in packs of three now. You're telling me I could get this going? I've been saying I was gonna play you in FIFA for probably a month now and I'm only at home. Uh, yeah. Imagine, yeah, getting people to play random computer games. Up to 25 users per team. It's cool that you can actually enable and disable the allowing of simming of games, because I'm gonna have to assume you got some friends who are just gonna sim their crap <laughs> out of stuff. I might be one of them. Would you like to invite your friends? Yes, all one of them. I've joined the Leafs with you. Wow, join request from Corwin. Hold up, guys. Think about this for a second. It's 4 p.m. You just got home from school. You look online. Your buddies are there. You check your GM connected inbox and there's a join request? You're just missing the guys. I can't believe wow. you can still play. It's just as beautiful as I remember. This is a cool moment. Up until you lost that face off. <laughs> I'm out here, I'm banging my stick. Nobody's passing me the puck. Okay, well, you know, maybe maybe go get the puck. How's that, how's that sound? Oh, 14 Here's seconds left. What the oh, hell? My God. That's brutal, man. Why is the passing so bad? The, the passing so bad? What is, well, like, I don't know, I just hit you. You know, just pass it out from the goalie right to them. Can continue your five on three. Okay. No worries. Yep. You know, I could get a break, away, but you know, you'll just send a pass like ten feet. No, no, no. Me. You were, you were. Don't worry. You were cherry picking, and I found you. Guy doesn't even go hard to the net. Shut up, bro. 
I was wide open. I was wide open. Oh my god, dude. Honestly, Z can uh, next game just control the coach. How do I run my own teammate? Get here. Stop. Stop running. Stop running. You asked me to be the coach. I let a little dump and chase it and see Yeah, I that. regret that. I think you should just stick to your role as commissioner or go to a different team. You know what, guys? I think we're done here. I think I think I'm pausing the game. I don't think I'm missing the guys at all. I'm done with GM Connected. Let's just say our thoughts on the game and get out of here. All right, so our final thoughts on NHL 14. It didn't feel that that different than NHL 20, except for it's just like a lot more restricted and limited version of NHL 20. And we mean that in a good way. Like you can really see what it was gonna become. The skating is worse and the stick handling is worse. And well, the poke like checking, you can't really play defense except through hitting. Yeah, like you don't have much control over that. But overall, like considering this was seven years ago, it holds up pretty well. And then on top of that, like the amount of game modes they have is like a impressive. Lot, man. <laughs> All we do is a thumbs up or a thumbs down of whether or not it holds up. And in this case, hell yeah. I'm doing oh, a yeah. thumbs up this time. We weren't even coordinated. We're not in the same room, but we both knew we were giving that a thumbs up. This has been great. That being said, I'm kicking you out of our GM Connected League. Ah! In the rain on your skin.